My name is Iona Rudisil, and I grew up I'm from um, Eastern Long Island in New York. I uh, came to Maryland, and uh, I met this wonderful man that God introduced me to, and we've been married for going up to 11 years, been together for 14. Uh, we have two children, a son uh, and a daughter. I grew up in the church. Now coming here to Grace, I had said to the Lord, you know, you have conversations with the Lord, and I'm like, Lord, I just wanna sit. You know, I'm just gonna sit. I'm not gonna do anything because I don't wanna get myself into something that you don't want me into. This is the season of my life that I'm not just gonna be doing just because I can do or just because I love to do. I wanna do because this is what you're calling me to do. And the Lord just kept pulling me towards um, the prayer ministry. And I was really feeling that maybe I was gonna be a part of another ministry this time, that I was going to do something else. Yet the Lord was saying, no, you know, you are an intercessor and I need you to still keep praying. And so, yeah, I became a part of the prayer ministry team. I think we always have different types of defining moments when the Lord is moving us and shifting us into another place. Um, there was a situation that occurred uh, that our family needed to go through, and we went through as a family. And in that defining moment, the Lord actually shared with me that it's time for you to really on this journey of self-justice. And he began to share with me what justice really was. Not just the court's justice, not law, legal, because in my field, I'm always working with attorneys and I'm working with law enforcement. Yet, he's like, no, I'm showing you it a different way. And he brought me to the scripture, Amos 524, which says, you know, let justice run down like water and righteousness like an ever flowing stream flowing abundantly. And that took me on a trajectory point where it was, you are really defining the decisions that you make. Everything that you do has to be guided by Holy Spirit and that it's not really my justice, it's God's justice through me. Well, giving, it's not me giving, it's God giving through me. So I would share with someone, you're giving, is not to be compared with someone else's giving. God has you where he wants you to be. You listen to what God is saying. And if you don't know, if you can't hear what he's saying, then you go into the word and listen to what he's saying to you through his word. You have so much life to give. Your life is not your own, but you have so much life to give. And this is coming from God because he created you. And he did not create you by mistake. He created you on purpose to follow a journey that he has for you. 